It's Darren, who you're up to, in strange ways. Yeah. I just didn't expect you. Well, I thought I'd surprise you. I got out yesterday. Oh, that's good. Oh, you've caught me at a bad time. I've got people here. Well, let's go out, then. No, I'm sorry, we can't. You're gonna have to go. You were with my dad, Brian Tilsley, the the night that um uh... the night he was killed. Yes, I was. Is that what you want to talk about? Yes. Why? You're going to tell me I were to blame? No. You're trying to make out it were my fault. No, honestly, I I just want to know what happened. You mean nobody's ever told you? Not really, no. Yeah, well, okay then. Just hang on while I tell my husband what's going on. What is here? Well, I didn't know who you were, did I? And after what happened with your dad, I've learned to be careful. I'm not trying to get out of anything. You don't have to. I shan't be chasing you for money. I just want to give you the chance to be a father to your own kid. I always said I wanted kids. Did you mean it? I thought I did. But we've tried it, haven't we? We've tried living together and it didn't work. You think this is going to make everything different? Yeah, I do. I think it might. But only if you want it to. And if you don't, then don't worry. You won't ever see or hear from me again. So you think about it, eh? Where are you going? Just back to Curly's. Look, all you have to do is decide whether you could put up with me if it meant you had your own kid. Unless you want to stay footloose and fancy free, then fine. But me, it's too late. Because I don't have a choice. Is that a coffin blood? I mean, real blood. Well, did they say why? Well, no, apparently it's something that happens when they've been on the backs for a long time. They get blood clots in the legs. In his legs? Yeah, and then they, well, they travel up to the lungs and then they cough it out. Well, what are they doing then? I don't know. They push me out. It's going to be all right, isn't it? I don't know, Steve. Yeah. I were having a night out with me pals, and this fella asked me to dance. My dad? Yes. And so we had a dance or two. What? You didn't know him before that night? No. And just for the record, I didn't know we were married, and I didn't know we had a family. The first I knew about all that was when I read about it in papers. Anyway, we got talking, and he said, could he take me home? And I said yes. I don't believe this. I beg your pardon. You reckon my dad just picked you up at some nightclub? He did. Yeah. I'm sorry, but I can't change history just to suit some nice picture you have of your dad. No, oh, okay. So what happened next? Why did he get stabbed? Well, we'd come out and he'd left me to go and find a taxi. Meanwhile, these lads had turned up and started. Suddenly, your dad comes back and goes for him. To protect you? Yeah. Although walking away might have achieved the same thing a lot easier. He could have done that. All I can say, I thought from the minute I first met him, he were looking for a fight. He were all, you know, fired up. Looking for a fight, looking for a bird. And he found both. Right. 
sorry, I didn't mean to frighten you. What do you want? Talk to you. All right, maybe I should have phoned her. I can understand she wasn't expecting us, but... Uh, no, I wasn't. But there ain't really anybody else here, is there? Well, there will be. It's all right. You wasn't expecting us. But I'm here now. Got out Friday. I've been dreaming about this, I can tell you. Dreaming? About seeing you. About us being together. So is this your house, or what? I mean, you never said in your letters, even when I asked. I share it. What with other girls? And men. It's all right, I'm used to sharing. Not like this, though, this is dead comfy. Hey, I ain't got a beer off you. Well, any sort of drink would do. And then you'll be going? Come on, Leah. What is this? What? I've been waiting months for this, seeing you. Kept all your letters and your photo. You haven't been leading us on, have you? No. Because that'd be our street to be on a man in prison with that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right then. Right, I'll get you a drink. Cheers. Tell you what these group things are for me. Nice to talking about all sorts to total strangers. Talked about us yesterday. Yeah. About what a rotten time we've had. Well, we haven't had a right laugh when have we, Ash? Anyway, so one of them said, well, why didn't he leave you? And I said, I don't know, I'll ask him. Well, have we... you thought about it? Well, you must have, cos I know I've thought about leaving you. Have you? I've thought, should I go back or shall I just forget you and make a new start? And what's your decision? Well, I thought we might as well try. See how we get on when... Well, when there's no Shannon. But it's up to you. I mean, it's your house. Well, I'm your Uncle Fred's. Well, you're Uncle Fred's then. The point is, do you want me to come back or not? Yeah. See, in this group, we were also talking about whether you know if people are telling the truth or not. Some said you don't. So, are you telling the truth, Ashley? Well, yeah. All right, I did think about us splitting. But I've seen the change in you, and I've changed my mind. Why, cos I'm so beautiful? Cos I know I'm not. So if you're saying that, I know you're not telling the truth. I think you are beautiful. Well, go get me a modelling contract, then. Anyway, I think we should do what you said. Come on, we'll see how it works out. And you won't be all upset if it's done and, and I decide to leave? No. OK, then. I'm sorry I can't be more help. Trouble is, I only knew him for a couple of hours, and for most of that, music were too loud for us to talk. Thanks for coming anyway. He was brave, though. The way he stood up to three of them. If only one hadn't had a knife, eh? What about him? What was he like? The one with the knife? Yeah. It were all over in a flash. I saw more of him in court after than I did that night. Then he seemed an arrogant so-and-so. Not a bit sorry. Just kept saying it were Brian's fault and that he had to defend himself. No, I cheered when they sent him to jail. The longer they keep him there, the better. What are you going to do now you're out, then? Make up for lost time. I was hoping you'd help us out with that. Have you got a job? There's a chance. I've only been out 24 hours. But I'll get one, yeah. It's like some been letters. I'm not a criminal, really. I mean, I killed someone, yeah, but it's not like being a criminal and making a career out of it, is it? I suppose. You haven't got another one of these, have you? I thought you said you were going after that. Leanne, what is this? What? Hang on, hang on. You wrote to me, remember? Yeah. And not just the once, either. Making out how you couldn't wait to see us. So first chance I get, here I am. Only now the tune's changed. Now it's when am I going? No, I didn't mean it like that. What did you mean, then? Nothing. You're not wasting my time, Leanne, are you? Playing games? No. No. Cos I've wasted enough time as it is, you know what I mean? Yeah. Right, then. Do you want another beer, then? Among other things, yeah. It's 
Funny house for students, this. All this leather. Hey, you're not kinky, are you? Belongs to somebody we know. Uh, we're just renting it off him before he gets around to selling it. Cheers. What's upstairs like? You're not going to show us, aren't you? I thought you wanted your beer first. Where are you going? I'm just sitting down. Here. Sit here. Relax, eh? I'll have this. And you can show us upstairs. introducing warfarin into his blood supply. Warfarin? Yes. I once ran a pub. We used that to kill rats. That is one of its other uses. Well, then why are you pumping it into me dad, then? It's an anticoagulant. With rats, it clots their blood so they bleed to death. With your father, it'll prevent him having another embolism. And um, why is he all pumped up with drugs? Oh, that's the painkillers. We've also put him on a mild sedative. Could he have died? He was very poorly. And we're still going to have to keep a close eye on him. So that's a yes, then. <laughs> well, hello. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. She just turned up and she wanted to talk. Yeah, well, something. it must be tough for you, is it, having to keep all your different women apart? Do you want a pint? Yes, please. So, how is she? <laughs> Not bad. Bit of morning sickness, that's all. No. Yeah, you haven't had the best. She says it's mine. And what do you say? I don't know yet. She wants us to get back together. <laughs> Try and make a go of it for the sake of the kid. <laughs> Does she? Well, you have got some decisions to make, haven't you? Hi. Hi. Large scotch, please, Betty. Don't love to see you in here weekends, love. Oh, weekend, is it? I wonder why I was the only one in working. See, it makes no difference to me. I never get any time off. Oh, give over. You'll have me in tears. <laughs> is that the bloke who has the Yeah, where our Janice works. A right pain in the backside. Hey, and I'll tell you what, he only ever employs women. In fact, he only ever talks to women. Okay. I think that's because he likes lording it over him, you see. And a little bit more besides, if you're given half the chance. So you what, Bob? If you ever catch him at it without Janice, I'll ring his fat little neck for him. Introduce me. You what? Come on. <laughs> hey, Mike. Have you met Sir Greg here, my son? No, I haven't. Mike Baldwin, isn't it? How would you do? If I had a pound for every time I'd heard that name, I'd be a rich man. Heard it where? <laughs> From my dad. Uh, well, my stepdad, who brought me up. Does the name Harry Wood mean anything to you? Harry Wood? Would that be the Harry Wood that had Mielsen's fashions? Yeah. Oh, we go back years to me and Harry. God. What's he up to now? Well, not much, I'm afraid. He passed away about six months ago. Oh, no. Yeah. Look, do you want to see? Yeah, yeah, why not? Oh, well, great. My friends will be back soon. So what? Do you never have lads back here? Yeah, I just mean that it'll be awkward. Don't bother me. Well, if you'd have let me know, I'd be expecting you. I'm not ready. Yeah, which is why I've been sat round for the last hour. Come on, Leon. Can I meet you sometime? How do you mean? Well, you know, like on a date. Cos I hardly know you. Yeah, well, now's your chance to get to know us. I mean, like, somewhere where nobody else would be turning up, you know, so we could be on our own. You said there was folk here when I knocked on the door. And that was just to get rid of us. How do I know you're not doing the same now? Oh, hey up. Thought you were at school revising. No, I've, I've finished that. Right. I'm going for a drink. That's coming over. Yeah, go on then. All right. I don't want so worried. I'm buying. Uh, can I have an orange juice and... Bacardi and Coke, please. Bacardi and Coke, please, Betty. She did me for one of them earlier. How's that little baby of yours? Oh, it's fine, thanks. He's over at my mum's for the night. Oh, smashing, love. I didn't know Greg knew Mike Baldwin. Neither did I. What it is, 
Baldwin knew Greg's stepfather. So I had a choice. Stay in the family business with my stepbrothers, which would have meant three of us running it, and me being outvoted every time there was a decision to be made. You only need one captain on the ship, otherwise, boom, straight into the iceberg. Yeah, so I got out. What are you doing now? A bit of repping, but basically I want to set up on my own. Following in the old man's footsteps. And then some. Yeah, he ran out of steam as he got older. If it had been me, that business would be five times the size it is now. Hiya. Oh, hi. Guess what? We might be going on holiday. Guess who's going to get the flat? Max. Another time, eh? I'm talking business. No, you are, are you? Very sorry. Oh, I don't believe it. I'm not to interrupt him while he's talking business. Well, never mind. Here you are. Have you drink? No. No, I'm not going to wait here and wait for him to speak to me at his convenience. And if he wants to know where I am, tell him as far away from him as possible. Max, what am I supposed to do with your drink? Don't you worry about that, love. I'll help you out. Hiya. Hey, you all right? How's it It's fine. What do you want to drink, Mum? Cheers. <laughs> Martin, you said... My mum used to talk to you about Brian. Well, when I first met her, she did, yeah. Did she love him? Well, I imagine she did when they got married, yeah. But, well, they did it with a bit of a rough patch when... Well, towards the end, you know. Was he seeing other women? Look, what's brought all this on? He Nick? did, didn't he? Look, I know he did. Look, Nick, sometimes when someone's died like that, you don't always want to remember everything about them. There are some things it's kind of to forget, you know. You forgot your change, Martin. Oh, cheers, Nat. Thanks. <laughs> Have you ever thought that, um, she might be making it up? Well, why would she do that? Well, just as a way of getting you back. Oh, I don't know, Des. It's just that she has been known to pull one or two stunts in a time, hasn't she? Well, yeah, I've been waiting ten years for this. Oh, are you? Hi, Ashley. How was Zoe? She's OK, yeah. Well, you know, you saw her this morning. Yeah, I know, but how did she seem to you? Well, she's looking forward to getting out. She wasn't before. And do they know when she will be getting out? Not yet, no. I'll do. I'll do. Ashley's one of them that's living here, like I was telling you. He's uh, just been to see his girlfriend in hospital. She's had a bit of a bad time. Oh, she's had a really bad time, hasn't she? Can I make anyone a coffee? No, we're OK, thanks. You were just going, weren't you? I'll make myself one, then. See, I, I told you they'd be coming back. You did? Like I said, if you'd have told me, I would have expected you, and then I would have been met. Well, <laughs> and I would have made things different, would it? Yeah. So if I come back tomorrow, the day after? Yeah, cos then I'll be expecting you, won't I? Do that. Yeah. You haven't seen Maxine, have you? I've seen a girl running out of that door. What's the matter with you? You'd rather spend time with Baldwin than with a bit of crumpet? Because if I play this right, Baldwin can put a lot of money my way. Enough to keep me in crumpet for the rest of my life. Look, Nick, what's going on? <laughs> Nothing, why should there be? Well, all these questions about Brian and... Oh, well, I don't know. Seems like you're somewhere else. I've just got a lot on with exams coming up. No, 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 I've had exams before and they don't do that to you, so come on. What is it? It's nothing all right. Can't you just leave it alone? Suppose you're right and she is lying. I didn't say she was, I said she might be. Might be? Well, how can I tell? Well, you can't now, but it's not the sort of lie a woman can keep going for very long, is it? I need to know now, then I can decide what I'm going to do. <laughs> All right, then. Get her to go to the doctor to be examined and then for you to get the test results as well as her. Do you think she would? No, I don't. Not in a million years. Yes, love. Um, can I have another orange juice oh. and whatever there's in Steve Evan, please? Okay. It's going to have to be waited on hand and foot. Well, then do what I said and let me pay for a nurse. No, I can't. I've told you it's something I've got to do myself. Why? You're divorced. Yeah, but divorces are like marriages. Some work and some don't. Mine never really has, has it? Never got away from it. 
Probably never will now. Curly's not in, so make yourself at home. Well, I'm not planning on stopping. I just need to ask you something. What? What you've told me about you being pregnant. Is it true? Of course it's true. Oh, come on, Sam. You've lied to me before. Yeah, but only about things that haven't mattered. Like whether I was going to marry you or not. But being pregnant, I take very seriously, Des. All right. All right. Now, will you believe me if I swear on this? Oh, come on. No, no. You want to know if I'm telling the truth, right? So the Bible. You might not be a Christian, but I am. So I swear on this Bible that I really and truly am pregnant. All right. Do you believe me now? No. I don't think I do. Oh, yeah. Ashley, do you mind? I want a word with Nick. All right. What's the matter? Won't be long. It's all right. Take as long as you like. Lee, what's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong is that I've had a little visitor this afternoon. You know who? Darren Waitley. Darren, that murdered your dad. What, he was here? Yeah. And do you know why? Because he's had all these nice little letters inviting him here. So he's out of jail, then? Yeah, he's out of jail and raring to go. Hey, he didn't do anything to you, did he? Well, if he didn't, it's no thanks to you, is it? Because all I am is, like, bait to you, aren't No! I? Bait to get him here, not thinking that you might not be here, so it'll be just me left fending him off for two hours. Lee, I'm sorry! Well, too late! Because that just showed me what you think of me. And that you're willing to use me like that. Oh, come well, on! Well, not anymore, you won't. Because I won't be here anymore. Because I'm going back to my dad's. So next time he comes round, it'll be all yours, won't it? 